Welcome folks on YouTube. I want to give an introduction to functions. And then maybe we'll even talk about what it means for a function to be one to one or on two in this video. We'll see how far we go. Okay. So let A and B be sets. I'll give an example of what that means in a moment. So a function f from a to b, what is that? It assigns an element f of a in the set b to every element little a in the set capital A. Okay. So a function from set A to set B, it takes an element in the set A as input and spits out an element in the set B as output. So let's do some examples. Um, maybe A might be the set, I'm drawing it as an oval, okay? But maybe A has one, two, and three in it. And maybe B has as its elements one, four, and nine. Okay. And maybe F is this function that it takes X, or maybe I'll write it as it takes a little A, and it maps it to A squared. Okay. So one squared is one, two squared is four and three squared is nine, right? So those, that's showing you how F is mapping an element in A to an element in B. You know, you could have a different function from A to B, maybe I'll call it G, that, that maybe it's not even given via a formula, right? Maybe it's just given via this picture, okay? Maybe I want to send one to four, and I want to send two to nine, and I want to send three to nine. Okay. That's also a perfectly valid function. Sure, it doesn't have a pretty formula like a squared, but it's still a function even if it's not quite as pretty. All right. So this function would say um, send one to four, and it would send two to nine and it would send three to nine. Whereas this function over here sends one to one, two to four and three to nine. All right, so some language. A is called the domain. So domain is just another word for the input space. The input space is the domain. Okay. Um, let me quite quickly go into one to one and onto, and, and, and then we'll pause and, and we'll answer questions and go more, go more slowly and give more examples. But let me just write them down, what one to one and onto means. So. That was my definition of a function. DEF is my abbreviation for definition. All right. So let's start with this. A function F is one to one if, and let me tell you what the uh, domain and output space are, okay. So my domain is capital A and my output space is capital B. A function f is one to one, and that's what I'm defining if um, for all a inputs, a and a prime, okay. Um, if 
those inputs are not equal, then that means that the corresponding outputs are not equal. Okay. So in other words, a function is one-to-one -one if different inputs go to different outputs. So this map F is one-to-one. -one. The different inputs all go to different spots, right? One goes to a different spot than two does, which goes to a different spot than three does, et cetera. G is not one-to-one. -one. And I can say why. Um, since G of two is equal to G of three, even though three is not equal to two, right? So G takes two different inputs, but sends them to the same spot. And let me give one final definition. So definition, a function F from A to B is um, onto if for all possible outputs, little b in our output space, there is some input, little a in our input space with f taking that input, little a, to that particular output. Okay. So in other words, a function f is onto if every possible output gets hit. So in these pictures, f in this example is on to because one gets hit, four gets hit, and nine gets hit. And that's, that's, that's everything in my set B. Okay. G is not on to. Um, because there's no element little a that maps to one. All right, so let me wrap up there. It takes a little practice to get used to functions and identifying which functions are one-to-one -one and which functions are onto, which we'll do momentarily. Um, but these, these concepts are um, come up all the time in math mathematics, one-to-one -one and onto. And we'll try to use those words, one-to-one -one and onto, but they do have other names that you might hear. So another name for one-to-one -one is injective. And another name for onto is surjective. But let's, let's not use those words in this class. Let's use one-to-one -one and onto. All right, public questions. Um, so if, uh, if one, um, I guess if one element from A maps, for example, if, if three maps to nine, what if three also maps to some other number like one, would that, uh, be a function? Right, so that would not be a function. So let me write this, let me, um, okay, let's do the following. Let me steal this, aha, okay. And also like, what, why not? You know, like for example, uh, the sleeping parabola function is kind of, like it's considered not a function, but you know, it kind of is like, it, yeah, like just what's the reasoning behind that? Sure, okay. So let's say we try to declare, um, let, let's call this F. And let's say we try to declare that three maps to nine and three maps to one. Okay, so. Okay, so this is not a function. And so you said something like, um, you know, you said, you said, why not, 
why is this not a function? But you said something about like it being a parabola. Can you say that bit again? Yeah, like for example, you know, like the function plus and minus square root of x is a sleeping ah. parabola kind of. Sleeping parabola? Oh yeah, that's, oh. that's how like uh, they called it in high school. Oh, because it's on its side. Yeah, it's like sleeping. <laughs> I love that. Okay, that's great. Oh uh, man. Okay, so. All right, so here's a picture of y equals x squared, or, or let's write this as f of x equals x squared. All right. So here's my parabola. All right, and now let's, okay, this is a function. All right, so now let's look at the sleeping parabola. You want to try to assign, assign define something like f of x equals plus or minus uh, the square root of x, uh, I guess for x non-negative, okay, something like this. Okay, this one is not a function. Okay, so, so here's why. For the one on the left, okay, so, so let me label where my inputs are. Here's my inputs. And let me label where my outputs are. Here are my outputs. Okay. So any good function should take an input and tell you exactly what its output is, okay? So for any possible input, the function f on the left tells me what the output is, right? I can plug in any number you want and just square it and I, I get what the output is, right? Let's call this sleeping parabola, let's call it G, this one on the right. Okay, the problem with the sleeping parabola is let's say I plug in, um, let's say I plug in four, okay. Is G of four equal to two or negative two? Nobody knows, right? So like uh, when you plug in four to G, do you get two or negative two? You haven't specified. And that's exactly what makes this not a function, right? A function has to specify exactly for every possible input, what's the output, okay? You've, you've almost specified a function because for every input you've given me two possible outputs, right? For every input you've given me two possible outputs, but that's not good enough. To be a function for every input, you need to give me exactly one output. Does that help? Yeah, so, so it's basically, it's kind of, I mean, you know, having the plus and minus there, we can kind of tell that there are two outputs. So it's possible to know what the output is, but um, I guess it's like a, like a decision that was made that, okay, it's not allowed, like it's gonna create ambiguity. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That plus or minus is exactly the, the problem. Um, yeah, precisely. You need to specify one, you know, it's sort of like, <laughs> you know, if I had to make an analogy with people, right, I would say like a function is an honest person, they give you a straight answer, right? Whereas this G over here is a little bit like a, uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe less of an honest person. I ask like, um, you know, what do you want for breakfast? And they say like, oh, I want either pancakes or oatmeal, but I'm not going to tell you yet. And I'm like, come on, just tell me what you want for breakfast. Yeah, so um, it's not quite, um, it's not quite well-defined enough. Um, a function is well-defined in the sense that every input spits out precisely one output. Great question. Other public questions? Thanks so much.